Hi guys, this is Sadek from Dwarven.com and in this video, we'll show you how to fix the exception occurred while executing grant error message. So this error usually happens when you are trying to give the right secure settings permission to a third party app using just the adb command without using root. So I'm repeating once again, this error message appears when you are trying to give a third party app the right secure permission, which is quite an important and and useful permission but we are giving this permission in a non-rooted environment using just the adb command so by default our phone will not allow us to do so and it will block this permission so you will have to toggle out a few features on your phone and only after that you will be able to give it this permission so first off let me show you the exact issue so for the sake of reference i am using an app this is the sm resolution app let me show you if i launch this app as soon as I launch the app, it's asking me to simply give it a permission, a ADB shell permission. But simply giving it this permission will not get the job done. Let me show you that as well. So just a minute, this is the command. So if I now type in, even if I now type in this command and hit enter, let me show you, it will not work. So first off, I'll have to open the platform tools folder, then type in CMD in the address bar and hit enter. This will now launch command prompt window. Now on our phone, we'll now have to enable USB debugging. So for that, go to settings menu, then go to about device, then go to version and tap on build number seven times. You will get a prompt that you are now in developer mode. Now go back, again go back, go to additional settings and you should now see developer option. So go there and enable the toggle next to USB debugging. You will get a prompt on your phone Tap on OK. You might get an RC key prompt as well. So tap on Allow. With this, debugging is now enabled. So let's let's verify the debugging connection as well. So type in ADB devices and make sure that you are getting an ID. So let's just wait and verify the same. As you could see, we are getting an ID. If you are not getting any ID, then unplug and replug your phone from the PC. Disable and re-enable USB debugging. Use the official cable that came with your phone. Tap on Revoke USB debugging and use the USB 2.0 port on your PC. So carry out these USB tweaks and make sure that you're getting this ID. Once you're getting this ID, you could now proceed ahead and simply type in this command in the CMD window to check out the results. So let me do so right away. So guys, this is the command in this command. This is the app package name, which will be different for different users depending on the app that we are using. Whereas this is the Android permission regarding the right secure settings, which will be same for all the apps. Likewise is the PM grant, which will also be same. And before that you could use ADB shell in the same command, or you could also use ADB shell as a separate command. And then this command as a separate one. So let me show you first off, let me type in ADB shell. And with this, I'm inside my shell environment on my phone. And now if I type in this command, let me show you. So let me copy and paste this command. So you could see we are getting an error message exception occurred while executing grant and it's not able to give the right secure settings permission to this third party app and if i now launch the app as well it will again you could see the same error is there so how could you rectify this issue well the issue in case of oneplus phone could easily be rectified all you have to do is simply enable the disabled permission monitoring feature in simpler words you just have to turn off the permission monitoring on your oneplus phone and the issue will be fixed in case of Xiaomi, it's the MIUI optimization. I will talk about that later on. First and foremost, let's focus on OnePlus. So you just have to enable this feature on your OnePlus phone and the issue should be fixed. So for that, first and foremost, you will have to force stop the app. So long press on the app, go to app info and tap on force stop. This is extremely important. So please force stop the app. Once that is done, let's now go to the settings menu. Then go to additional settings, developer option and scroll to the bottom and the set option should be there. So let me show you that. So this is the disabled permission monitoring. Simply enable the toggle next to it. And with this, our task stands complete. Again, make sure that you have forced off the app. Once you have done so and enable this toggle, let's execute the command once again. So as you could see, we are inside the ADB shell. So we don't want to type in ADB shell. We could just use the command. So PM grant command and hit enter. And this time the command has been executed successfully. As you could see, there are no error message this time around. So now if I launch the app, let me show you that as well. 
So let's now launch the app and this time around the app has been opened and we could now carry out the desired task. You don't have to use this command every time. It's just for the first time usage. If you now close the app or even force stop the app so it's, and relaunch it, it will open once again. So you don't have to execute this command every time. It was just for the one time usage and from now onwards the app will open without any permission request. So in short, in case of OnePlus, you just have to enable the disable permission monitoring feature and the issue will be fixed. Now let's talk about the Xiaomi phones. In case of Xiaomi phones, the thing is that although there exists a fix, but not every app respect that fix. Even though I will recommend you to try it out once, but still the success rate varies depending on the app you are using. So in case of Xiaomi phones, what you have to do is simply disable the MIUI optimization feature. This is a feature which is hidden. So let's first unlock this feature. For that, you have to go to settings menu. And from here, you have to go to about phone, then tap on MIUI version seven times, and you will get a prompt that you are now a developer. So now go back, then go to additional settings, and you should now see developer option. So go there and scroll to the bottom, and you should now see an option by the name of reset to default values. Tap on it five times and it will bring up the turn on MIUI optimization feature as you can see from here. So all you have to do is simply turn off this toggle and you will now have to wait for five seconds. Once that time frame is elapsed, just tap on accept. And with this, the MIUI optimization has been disabled and you will now go ahead and give the app the right secure permission. It might work in some cases, but it might not work in other cases. It has worked on some Redmi and Xiaomi and MI phones, but there have been a few issues with regard to the Poco phones. So you could still give it a try. And one more thing, this turn on MIUI feature will be again gone as soon as you press the back key. So as soon as you go back and again go to developer option, the option will be disabled, but in the back end, it's still enabled. It's just not there in the front end. So you could again bring back that feature by simply tapping on reset to default values five times and the feature will again be available. As you could see, it's still in its original state. It's just that it was no longer there in the front end, which is not a cause of concern. So guys, on that note, I round up this video on how you could fix the exception occurred error. In case of OnePlus, you just have to enable the disabled permission monitoring and the issue will be fixed. Whereas in case of Xiaomi phones, you will have to turn off the MIUI optimization but even then it works in some phones and does not work on other phones depending on the app that you are using. So on that note, I round off this video. If you have any queries, do let me know in the comment section and thanks a lot for watching.